Hello, welcome to the Mark Janod Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top five ethical hacking apps for Android. And I have another, I have some bonuses for you, okay? So I'm not only going to give you five, I'm going to give you some bonuses after that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. One of the two major mobile operating systems in terms of users and popularity uh, Android has a lot of perks. The open source nature of Android makes it a wonderful playground for all kinds of mobile applications. While the number of malicious applications on Android outweighs the ones that can be used for security, there's a good number of hacking applications found on Android. Not all of them are noteworthy, but some of them are impressive enough to leave a mark. So we're about to begin. Number one, Andro Rat. Just like any rat, which is a remote access tool, uh, this one also comes with the same features but is focused on Android devices. The name is made by combining Android and Rat. The client slash server application allows you to gain remote control of any Android device and fetch information from it. The application needs to be generated and configured using a computer. The application needs to be installed on the victim's computer and once the device is connected to the internet, you will obtain remote control of the device. The app runs in the back door after boot once installed. The server connection is triggered by a call or an SMS. Once the device is connected, you can obtain access to the following information. But before I tell you that, please hit the subscribe button. Please, please, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. We have stream video, dump SMS, dump the call log, dump contacts as well. Two, we have Wi-Fi Kill Pro. As the name suggests, this application is used to revoke Wi-Fi access to devices connected to the same network. It blocks access by stopping the internet packets directed to the, the device over the network. The app displays all the devices connected to the network, including the MAC address, data tran um, you know, the data transfer rates, and the device names for each of them. Number three, we have Zanti, Z-A-N-T-I. One of the most popular penetration testing tools on Android, Zanti is used for simulating and executing attacks on a network. It is used for MAC address spoofing. Number four, we have Droid Sheep, and, uh, an, an efficient tool for web session hijacking. Droid Sheep acts analogously. <laughs> Peter, you can put that word on the screen. Analogously to a router that monitors and intercepts all Wi-Fi data transmitted between devices inside a network. It listens to the HTTPS packets sent via the Wi-Fi network and extracts the session ID, making it reusable. Number five, we have SSH Droid. And SSH Droid is an Android application that converts your Android device into a SSH server. It allows you to securely connect to your device from a computer and execute terminal commands or edit files. This app provides features like shared key authentication, Wi-Fi auto starts, whitelist, and extended notification control. Okay, now we're entering the realm of the bonus. We have hack mode, nicknamed the hacker's toolbox. Um, you know, and uh, this, is, you know, it earned its name by proving to be a common tool in various different hacking processes. This application is used by penetration testers, ethical hackers, IT administrators, and cybersecurity professionals. Next, we have Kali Net Hunter, and Kali Net Hunter's co compatibility with Android devices running earlier software versions has allowed it to become a popular open source, open source Android penetration testing software. Next, we have Csploit with a built-in Metasploit framework. Csploit is a powerful Android application used for hacking. Apart from the built-in framework, the friendly user interface also gives it a you know bonus points in the hacker's toolbox. So that's what I have for you today. Please, please, please take a moment to hit the like button. Uh, Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. I appreciate your viewership and see you in the next video. Also, drop a comment. What do you feel about this video? So uh, stay safe.